Hey loves, so today I want to talk to you about gold diggers. And no, not the type of gold diggers that you're probably thinking because this type of gold digger is way more costly and way more detrimental to your well-being than the kind that just use people for money. We're talking about emotional gold digging today. Let me ask you something. Have you ever been in a situation where you wake up in the morning and before the day even gets started, you just feel drained? You feel like all of your energy is gone from you. You feel like you're wiped out before the day even begins because of all these pressures that are on you to do this and to help that person. Oftentimes, when that's the case, it's because you are the victim of at least one emotional gold digger. And let me explain to you what an emotional gold digger is. An emotional gold digger is someone who they see you, they see that you are a strong person, they see that you are working on yourself, you're constantly improving yourself, and you're trying to better your mindset. So once they see that and they see that light in you, they start taking advantage of it by constantly depending on you to be their sister, their mother, their girlfriend, their therapist, all of these things wrapped up into one. An emotional gold digger is someone who will constantly get their emotional fix off of you, get their emotional resources met off of you without ever giving you anything in return. So you are constantly giving this person advice. You are constantly there to be the shoulder that they cry on. You are constantly there as the one person that they can count on to always hear them out, to make them feel understood. And here's the thing. There's nothing wrong with being a supportive friend. There's nothing wrong with being a supportive girlfriend, a supportive wife. But at some point, you have to draw a line. Because when it comes to dealing with a person who is an emotional gold digger, they are not interested in a reciprocal relationship. This is a person who is going to use you until they use you up and then they're going to bounce. And as you know, I work with a lot of single women who are trying to find that purpose partner who they're going to marry and who is going to cherish them and commit to them and all. And oftentimes I find that a lot of the women that I work with have been victims of an emotional gold digger. So they date someone who expects them to be their one and only. And not their one and only, hey Diana, not their one and only in the sense of, oh, this is my partner for life, this is my love, this is my boo. But they expect you to be their one and only, as in you are their one stop. When they are happy, they're gonna celebrate with you. When they're angry, they're gonna possibly take it out on you. When they are sad, they are gonna come crying to you and they have no other emotional support system. So they don't go to friends, they don't go to family members, they have no one else. They may need a therapist or a counselor, but instead of paying a couple hundred dollars an hour, they have you. They have you that they can constantly drain instead of going to someone for help. Oftentimes when I see a woman end up in relationships with people who are emotional gold diggers, I find that it happens in other areas of their life as well. So they're constantly taking care of parents, siblings. They have friends who all of their friends have made them the one person in the group that everyone can dump on. The one person that is supposed to bear the weight of everyone's burdens. And this behavior often starts in childhood. So you have someone who grew up as a people pleaser, someone who grew up as feeling like they didn't get enough attention as a child. So they became the type of person who was always there to help others because they love that attention. They love that satisfaction of always being the superhero who comes through to save the day. The problem with that is that, again, you end up in those type of relationships 
where you are constantly pouring into someone and that person is never pouring into you and you end up having that relationship with family members you end up having that relationship with your friends and then eventually you go on to have that relationship with your partners with your spouses and you end up in this toxic circle of one you're drained two you have no one that you can go to for support you have no one who can be there when you want to lay your burdens down and yes you can always talk to god but we all want a partner that we can go to when we want that emotional support we also want a human being that we can talk to as well and if you find yourself in this pattern again in your other relationships you're only going to attract people in your romantic relationships that are also going to take advantage of you emotionally. So you may be wondering at this point, how do you deal with emotional gold digging? And how do you make sure that you're not attracting these type of people? First of all, boundaries. So this is not just boundaries in the sense of telling people, hey, I'm not gonna hang out with someone who's going to abuse me emotionally. But this also means that if you find yourself in situations in which people constantly are coming to you and again, laying everything on you, dumping on you, but not reciprocating, maybe you need to start setting some away time. Setting some time where you don't answer phone calls, you don't answer text messages, you don't respond to messages on social media. It is amazing once you start setting time for yourself one, you're going to realize how valuable you are, how much you love yourself, and how your peace is not worth compromising. But also, you'll be amazed at who your real friends are because certain people, once they realize that they can't dump on you 24-7, they will exit and you will be better for it, frankly. But also, it's time that you take a look at the reasons why you are finding yourself in these types of relationships. Because again, it's often a matter of not feeling like you got enough attention when you were younger. It is often being that person who was by default made the one who others could dump on. Maybe you grew up in a single parent household and the parent that you lived with constantly told you their troubles. So you just grew up in that type of environment. Maybe you come from a family of people pleasers or even not necessarily people pleasers, my mom, for example, is the type of person who loves to keep the peace. She is no drama above everything else. And I have to admit that there was a time where I found myself in these types of relationships, not because I felt the need to necessarily please people, but just because keeping quiet and keeping the peace was so much easier than confronting someone, even if that meant that the person drained all of my energy in the process because I was constantly caring for them in spite of my energy being drained because I felt that this was the more peaceful way to go. So again, you need to set boundaries. You need to examine in the first place why it is that you have developed this pattern. And also you need to start with relationships that you have now as far as not just setting the boundaries but also talking to people and also not being afraid to ask for help yourself because I see this way too often that people end up attracting emotional gold diggers because not only are they no drama in the way of keeping the peace but they're also no drama because they never ask for anything Anyone who truly cares for you, whether that is a family member, whether that is a friend, whether that is your future spouse or your current spouse, if they care for you, they will have no problem being there for you when you need it. However, sometimes you accidentally fall into these patterns because people see you as always being strong, always keeping it together. And because you never ask for anything, people just assume that you don't need anything. So. Again, today we talked about emotional gold diggers and the way in which they drain your energy, the way in which they create toxic relationships, and how you can eliminate this issue by 
setting boundaries by looking at the patterns in your past relationships so that you can figure out how you got into these patterns to begin with and also learning how to ask for help yourself. So I would love to know your thoughts on this video. Hey, Dina, I love to know your thoughts on this video. I love to know if you've ever dealt with someone in your life who is an emotional gold digger who constantly drained you. And also if you dealt with that and you successfully dealt with it, I'd love to know how you handled it. So I will talk to you guys soon. Love you all.